Hi everybody, this is a simple Memorial Day craft that you can do using a soda bottle. I'm just cutting off the outside label and I will prepare this bottle for the craft. It's going to be a really beautiful Memorial Day bellflower jar. That's what we are making. So I'm going to cut away the part that you drink out of. a little bit more than halfway of the bottle give it a little pinch and cut evenly all around the bottle and you will be using both parts of the bottle for this craft i rinsed the bottle out but it's still a little sticky so i'm just wiping it down with a damp cloth so that's how my top half looks and here is the bottom part i'm going to fit it over and i'm going to cut away the excess that i don't need using the top part connected as a guideline just so I don't cut it too short. And the part that we cut away, we won't be using that part. That part can get thrown away in the recycle bin. This is a really important step to cut away all of the excess. This way it'll be totally level. And when you stand your final project up, it won't be lopsided because one side is too high and one side is too short. So I have my part here. I'm going to wipe that excess soda away. I did wipe it earlier, but soda can still be sticky. I used a hot knife for this because that center part of the bottom of the bottle is really, really tough. So I heated my knife this way I can make a nice little hole. And I have this light up flower lay that I don't use anymore. I'm going to take away all the flowers off of that and I'm going to use the little lights so my project will look even more pretty this is the lathe that i got one time at a party and i can still use the lights even though i don't want the flowers on it anymore and i'm just going to save the flowers for another project when you're a crafter you just save all types of little things because you never know when you'll need them so here is what i need i needed this long light up cord and the attached button to turn it on and off and it has three settings it can flash it can stay lit or it can just turn off. So I'm going to string the wire part through and I'll secure the inside button towards that bottom part later on. So I'm going to use a little masking tape for now. This way the button doesn't fall off of the wire. I'm just securing it to the inside of the plastic container. And next I got these red, white, and blue fake carnations from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has so much great stuff and I'm going to use three of the flowers. So here is the red, white, and blue carnation I'll be using. And the next step is to wrap the wire all around the stems and make sure some of the lights stick up in between the flowers. And also test the size, put the bell jar part over it to make sure that you have the right height of your flowers because you might have to trim the stems. I left mine a little too long so I have to trim them a little shorter. So you just want to keep checking to make sure you have the right fit. And then you can also glue them in place to make them more secure. I hope you're liking the project so far and if you are I hope you can subscribe. We have a lot of videos on our channels and we even have a fun DIY playlist of all of the craft videos that I made. Now to decorate the bottom I'm going to use red, white, and blue felt, these blue crystal gems, some hot glue, and a ribbon with stars on it so now i'm just going to put the felt i'll put the red first and then the white and the blue and this is to hide the plastic and it will make it look more fancy this way if someone comes over and they see your little bellflower jar memorial day project they will never know it was made from a soda bottle it will look really fancy
pieces. So now this is the fun part. We're almost done. I'm just gluing on these pretty gems. I'm evenly spacing them all around. And then I'll add some hot glue at the very bottom base of the felt. And then I'll put the bell jar on and that's where it will stay stuck. It will stay in place. So on the bottom you just want to cut away excess felt or you can just fold it over and hot glue it towards the bottom and make sure you leave your on and off switch button if you're putting in the little fairy lights like I did this way you can see it and I got these two bows from the Dollar Tree and I'm just using the star portion I'm just going to hot glue it for a little trim to hide some of the plastic at the bottom And to hide that little hole at the top, I'm putting these two butterflies. Um, you can also put like a bow or something in red or red, white and blue theme. Maybe even a toy soldier. And I'm just hot gluing these butterflies in place. And this is a great little project for Veterans Day or 4th of July. And I just wanted to say thank you to all those that served. And also to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. And thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe. And by the way, did you know I served in the army for almost eight years? <laughs>